today i will show you how to use the af calculator that means arc flux calculator in etap software here you can see this is power calculator you just click here and you will get this power flow this is for power calculator already i have covered in a separate video and here next tab is the ac arc plus so if you go here you can see the input here uh, so i will discuss uh, this arc plus boundary this arc plus boundary then the incident energy this one if we see the plot view like this incident energy uh, with respect to that you know that uh, r plus boundary and working distance limit and also i will discuss uh, briefly about the electrode configuration inside the uh, switch gear panel enclosure so all these things i will discuss in this video i will try to cover as much as possible so here also this is the uh, based on the incident energy the distance the uh, safe distance safe uh, working distance it is showing so let's start let's start from here this is the input under this ac arc plus here is the input tab here uh, the first one is the method so we have to define this uh, method based on which standard we are going to calculate this arc plus analysis so this is ieee 1584 2018 from the drop down list there are three options available here ieee 1584 2018 another one is ieee 1584 2002 and another one is the lee method okay so if we select this uh, uh what's the basic difference between these uh, the, these two ieee 1584 this 2018 and 2002 the main difference is that in uh 1584-2002 that uh, electrode configuration uh was less that means that uh, electrode configuration i will discuss a little bit later so there i will show you and this 2018 version number of electrode configurations in uh, increased actually uh, how the electrode configuration inside the switch gear panel will be uh, considered so based on that consideration 2018 um, uh, we can use okay so here is the phase with a single phase or three phase and here is the fault type three phase two phase or single phase we can select from this drop down list now this is the uh, uh, voltage level these are the input parameters and this is the voltage level you can you can see whether you are changing this voltage level this side is the let's uh, discuss what is about this this is the um, this is the arc plus boundary this black black region this is arc plus boundary and this red color this is the arc plus plasma arc plus plasma this is the source of arc source of arc hazard and this is the this yellow yellow is the working distance this is the safe work distance so it will change depending on the voltage level here you can see this voltage level okay and here is the bolted fault bolted fault current whether it is 20 kiloamps or 40 kiloamps or 50 kiloamps depending on that uh, you can change here so like this let's say 40 kilograms okay and here is the conductor gap in millimeter uh, you need to define the conductor gap inside the switch gear enclosure panel enclosure and this is working distance working distance and here is the equipment type equipment type will be, it will be different for uh, if it is switch gear you can select from the drop down list if it is mcc 
then from the drop down list actually this depends on the uh, why why this is important this uh, equipment type why this is important because we need to define the uh, we need to define the height width and depth of the panel so these are the key driving points uh, which uh, which um, decides what, what will be the incident energy and also the electrode configuration this electrode configuration i will talk in detail later so this is the electrode configuration vcb vcbb hcb uh, this is horizontal configuration and vcb vcbb these two are the vertical configuration what is the difference between these two i will show you voa this is vertical open air and hoa horizontal open air so the last two are applicable for outdoor switch gears or outdoor panels whether the first three are applicable for indoor enclosure panels so these these are related to the uh, panels height width depth and the electrode configuration so based on this uh, that's why that's why you need to um, uh, select the equipment type which type of uh, what type of equipment it is for the time being we are considering the typical data okay so, and uh, and here is the fault clearing time so fault clearing time is a is the uh, one of the miss uh, one of the most important key factor here because depending on the fault clearing time depending on the fault clearing time the incident energy will be changed and based on the incident energy this arc plug boundary limit or that pp requirement that will be changed here you can see whenever i will whenever uh, i am going to change this uh, this fct this is in second 0.2 second that means 200 millisecond it is now 200 millisecond so here in this plot incident energy versus fct fault clearing time so y axis this is incident energy this is incident energy and this point two is the fault clearing time whenever i am changing this one just notice here it is changing okay let's say this is 0.51 uh, second that means 510 millisecond so here this is the incident energy incident energy is also increased and here also changed if you if you change it if you change it uh, if you want to check this incident energy versus working distance that is also possible so this is the this is the working distance yeah so incident energy versus working distance this curve looks like this you can you can check the contour this plots yeah so it will look like this now uh, before going to the results i will uh, i will show you here here is the plot view here is the plot view and uh, here you can see this incident energy versus working distance and fault clearing time working distance range minimum range and maximum range is defined and also the fct range fault clearing time 0.2 second to two second uh, yes so this is minimum minimum and this is maximum we can define okay incident energy in calorie per square centimeter versus r plus boundary and electrode configuration so this is vcb vcbb hcb voa hoa different electrode configurations are there okay and if we if we plot this if we want to check the plot view here all the uh, plots are available incident energy versus working distance suppose this one the the topmost curve is for the fct equals to 2 that means fault clearing time is 2 second two seconds that means it has the maximum incident energy so that's why it is on the top and this one the first one is the fct is 0.2 second that means 200 millisecond as the bottom most bottom most it is showing where, uh, where my cursor is blinking 
we are it is showing ie incident energy is 40.6 calorie per centimeter square and working distance is 30.5 centimeter and fct is 200 millisecond 0.2 second whereas if you see in the topmost this is incident energy is 358.1 calorie per centimeter square and fct is 2 second so here almost 358 358 incident energy and here only 40.6 incident energy so it definitely depends on the fault clearing time uh, how fast the fault is being cleared in the uh, in the power system network it depends on that that means the incident energy depends on that and here the second curve is the incident energy versus arc plus boundary so here is the incident energy you can see this is yeah, 40 calorie per square centimeter and this arc plus boundary is 55.7 centimeter and the electrode configuration is vcv okay the next one is uh, incident energy is 25 here incident energy is reduced again so 12 here it is 8 here it is 4 like this and here the fault current with respect to fault current fault current and time fault current and time the third curve the third uh, curve is showing and the fourth curve is showing the incident energy versus time so all these curves you can check from this calculator instantly okay now let's now let's check uh, this electrode configuration I will show you the the electrode configuration okay so go to the uh, results here you can see the the, the results are showing here arcing current 31.726 kilograms incident energy and arc plus boundary so these results are showing okay so this is the this is the uh, electrode configuration inside the uh, electrical panel enclosures if we go to the uh, help help button here okay you can see this is the arc plus calculator arc plus calculator i will show you the electrode configurations how it is showing okay first of all the input parameters what i was uh, trying to explain this one ieee 1584 2018 this method voltage range is 0 0.208 to 15 kV so it is applicable for up to 15 kV but the calculator uh, if you if you give the input in this calculator up to 20 kV it will show you the result but this voltage range is 15 k up to 15 kV and also uh, this IEEE 1584 2002 this voltage range is uh, 0 0.208 to 15 kV same and in the Lee method actually uh, this is not applicable here this voltage range is not applicable bolted uh, uh, fault okay yeah this is the this is the electrode configuration you can see this is electrode configuration so electrode configuration as per ieee 1584 2002 or 2018 method as per the ieee 1584 2002 method this this method only considered this vcv vertical conductors in a box and voa vertical conductors in open air only these two features However, when selecting the IEEE 1584 2018 method, uh, some additional configurations are available. Just like VCBB, that means vertical conductors in a box with barrier, HCB, horizontal conductors in a box, and HOA, horizontal conductors in open air. So these three, VCBB, HCB, and HOA, these additional configure electrode configurations are available in IEEE 1584 2008 uh, whereas these these were not available in IEEE 1584 2002 method 
so now let's understand what are uh, these electrode configurations so this is already um, shown here this is the this is vcb configuration this is vertical electrode configuration this is vcbb this is vcbb this is also vertical configuration but you can see this this conducting this conducting material it is going uh, up to the uh, bottom part of the enclosure so this is vcb this is vcbb and this is hcb hcb is the horizontal uh, configuration and like uh, uh, you can see in the um, switch gear panel uh, main bus bar arrangement where the uh, but, uh, where that uh, horizontal configuration is applicable here is the voa this is not applicable for indoor application uh, this is applicable for outdoor uh, switch gear installation in the open air vertical open air and this is horizontal open air so these two last last two are applicable for outdoor applications only whereas the the first three vcb vcbb and hcb these three are applicable for the indoor applications indoor switch gears or switch boards uh, which has the enclosure so we need to uh, define the electrode configuration and depending on this electrode configuration the arc flux that incident energy will be calculated as per this ieee 1584 2018 method 2018 method we need to select 2018 and not 2002 because in 2002 you can get only this vcb and voa then voa is for the outdoor application only this vcb only this vcb but in 2018 you can get additional this vcb and hcb these two configurations so it will be more accurate so uh, one more important point if the switch gears are arc rated then only arc plus analysis is required otherwise there is no point to conduct the arc plus analysis in the switch gear panel so these are the electrode configurations i wanted to oh, share with you and here the fault clearing time all these things i have already explained okay so so what we have learned from here and one uh, one thing i missed uh, maybe the input method here the electrode material you can define whether it is copper or aluminium you can mention you can select from here and also arc plus boundary this calorie per square centimeter this is 1.2 by default you can change it also because this is applied this is uh, this will be considered during the incident energy calculation here incident energy calculation so these are the, uh, the this was the this was the message regarding this uh, r plus r plus uh, calculator so you need to uh, you need to configure uh, your uh, switch gear pa panel electrode configuration you need to define you need to define the uh, height width and depth of the panel and obviously this is electrode configuration and also the fault clearing time fct the fault clearing time uh, is also required uh, because based on this the incident energy will be calculated here the incident energy will be calculated and r plus uh, this boundary limit or the safe working distance will be decided so i think uh, this video was helpful some value addition uh, is there so if you like this then you can like this video and also subscribe to this channel if you have any comment further uh, further comment regarding this r plus already i have uh, prepared detailed video regarding this r plus analysis you can check out those maybe uh, another uh, uh, four or five videos are there you can check out those things and if you have any comments uh, definitely um, you need to put in the comment box let me know and uh, definitely i will come back to you okay thanks